Hello, everyone. This is Mr. Fu, Christopher Fu. Um, I've not done this for a very long time. Um, I decided to start doing this because I find that people actually are interested in finding out strategies to study. So I would like to take this chance to share a strategy to study organic chemistry, which is a very, very important content in the GCO level chemistry, as well as N level chemistry. But my content will be more related to the O level chemistry, all right? Organic chemistry is an important topic. It is not really covered in the practical exam. So you can expect it to be tested more in the theory paper, namely paper one and two of the GCO level chemistry paper. Now, uh, I'm not here to teach the entire topic on organic chemistry. I'm not saying that this summary table will be sufficient for you to score very well in organic chem, but it provides a good starting point. It provides a good summary of all the important reactions, reagent, conditions and products that is expected of the various reactions. All right, let's start with substitution. Uh, there is a difference between type of reaction and name of reaction. The type of reaction is more general. The name of reaction will indicate the reagent involved. For example, in addition reaction, we have hydrogenation. All right, so if the question says the type of reaction, then it will be addition reaction. If the question say name of reaction, then you have to state the exact name, hydrogenation, which states the name of the reagent involved. Okay, let's go back to substitution. This is the first reaction you learn in organic chemistry under alkanes. Free Radical substitution is the specific name. I put an asterisk here to tell you that it is not required in the O-level syllabus. Though some schools extend their curriculum to include this, all right? So the reagents involved are alkanes for most cases. Um, it, substitution can occur with other organic compounds, all right? But uh, the focus is more on alkanes. All right, but when it occurs with other organic compounds, is the H bonded to C that undergoes substitution. So it is still the alkane that we are referring to. All right, uh, the other reagent is gaseous chlorine, liquid bromine, or iodine. Okay, so these halogens are no normally asked in examination. The condition is UV light or ultraviolet. Like the halogenal alkanes is the product of the reaction. One example is chloromethane, like this. So this is the product. Okay, so it depends on the question. If the question say only one hydrogen is substituted, then you just indicate chlorine. But if they say uh, more than one, the reaction can proceed further with more hydrogen atoms substituted by chlorine atoms. Number two, combustion. This reaction occurs very often in questions. I saw that many times, uh, especially when they ask you to construct equation. You may have learned this briefly in atmosphere and environment, okay? When it talks about how hydrocarbons undergoes combustion. So the reagent involved can be any organic substance like alkanes, alkenes, alcohol, etc. The other reagent must be oxygen. When they say undergoes combustion or burn in air, the reagent must be oxygen, only oxygen. All right. Conditions definitely heating. Uh, carbon dioxide and water will be the product form if complete combustion occurs, meaning there's excess oxygen. But if oxygen is limited or it is the limiting reagent based on your mole calculation, then the combustion will be incomplete. Hence, carbon monoxide or soot, which is carbon, may be formed instead of carbon dioxide. 
water remains as the other byproduct. All right. Addition reaction is the next important and the very important reaction to study. All right. It seems to appear very frequently in O level questions. Uh, namely, you have hydrogenation, which is the reaction between alkenes and hydrogen gas. Conditions are 200 degrees Celsius with nickel as the catalyst. All right. So this is the catalyst. Alkenes is the product. All right. One important reaction that you must remember is the production of margarine. So vegetable oil is a poorly unsaturated compound. Or should I say it has poorly unsaturated compound. So when it undergoes hydrogenation, okay, the double bond between carbon are broken to form carbon-carbon single bond. So from vegetable oil, Okay, when it undergoes hydrogenation, it forms margarine. All right, so that's a very important reaction to study. Bromination, the second uh, example of addition reaction, you have alkene with liquid bromine. So what are the conditions? Absence of UV light to prevent substitution from taking place. Or you can mention in dark at room temperature, the products are halogenal alkanes. Example, 1,2-dibromoethane. So one to dibromoethane. So the double bond between carbon and ethene is broken to form single bond. So for unsat from unsaturated becomes saturated. So you have so this is one to dibromoethane. One two dibromo, meaning this is the first carbon or this is the second carbon. All right, this is how the compound name comes about. Third reaction, hydration. Alkene reacts with steam, must be steam. Don't say water because the conditions are 300 degrees Celsius and the atmospheric pressure is at 60 atm with phosphoric acid as a catalyst. Must remember this very well. Alcohol is the product. Next, addition polymerization. Be very specific, addition. You cannot just say polymerization, all right? Alkene is the only uh, starting reagent. High temperature pressure with suitable catalyst. You need not memorize the catalyst name. Uh, polymer is formed, example, polyethene. Okay, so this is used to make plastics. Cracking is the next important reaction that you should study. You have large chain alkane that is broken down into smaller organic hydrocarbons or sometimes hydrogen gas. So alkene is formed in this way with some alkanes formed and sometimes hydrogen gas is also formed. The conditions are 600 degrees Celsius. The catalysts are al aluminum oxide and silicon dioxide. The reason for cracking you should also understand is to meet the demand for smaller hydrocarbons which are of greater use and demand. Okay, smaller hydrocarbon can be used uh, in fuels in cars, for example, or it can be used to make other chemicals. Reactions of acid. So I'm talking about carboxylic acid here. So these three reactions are very similar to what you learn in acid-base reaction under acid reactions. So uh, carboxylic acid and organic acid reacts in a similar way. So it does react with reactive metal, reactive metal, not, not copper, not silver, not gold. All right, it forms an organic salt and hydrogen gas. Example, magnesium ethanoate. All right, magnesium ethanoate is organic salt, which is an ionic compound. Carboxylic acid with carbon dioxide, organic salt, carbon dioxide, and water. Very similar. So I'm going through this quite quickly. Acids with base, carboxylic acid and base, forming organic salt and water. Oxidation, important. You have learned this term under the topic redox. Okay, so it's just a quick recap. So organic compounds undergoes oxidation. And oxidation is a important reaction in organic chemistry. 
So the reagents is something very familiar, the purple acidified potassium manganate, KMNO4. Okay, it's purple in color. It reacts with alcohol. Uh, the conditions is heating and it forms carboxylic acid with water. So this is how carboxylic acid can be formed from alcohol. Alcohol and oxygen also can react under room temperature to form carboxylic acid and water. Although the reaction is slower, it can still occur. Okay, That's why alcohol should be sealed tightly in the absence of air so that it will not be oxidized to form carboxylic acid. The next reaction is important, esterification, or you can also call it condensation because water is formed as a byproduct. The conditions are concentrated sulfuric acid and warming, not heating. You don't need to heat to very high temperature. All right. The reagents are alcohol with carboxylic acid to form ester and water. Another way to make alcohol is called fermentation. So one way to make alcohol is called hydration, which you learn under uh, alkenes reactions. The other one is fermentation where glucose solution okay, undergoes fermentation to form alcohol and carbon dioxide as a byproduct. The conditions include yeast at 37 degrees Celsius because this is the optimum temperature for yeast to work optimally. Of course, the, the reaction must be carried out in the absence of oxygen. And condensation polymerization, uh, please know polymerization, it may come out as a whole question. Uh, in some years, it come out as a database question with about 10 marks out of 80 marks. So do not take this last topic very lightly on polymer. Okay, make sure you understand why it's addition polymerization and the condensation polymerization. Take note of condensation polymerization because that's the part that uh, students tend to get very confused between uh, polyamide and polyester. Okay, because you only get to learn what is amine and amide under this chapter. Okay, so it's quite new when you started learning this topic. So for the formation of polyamide, it requires reagent like dicarboxylic acid and diamine. Okay, the conditions, heat and pressure, you need not know the exact temperature and pressure. Um, for polyester, it will be quite straightforward, dicarboxylic acid and diol. Diol means you have this a molecule with two hydroxyl group, okay? Okay, that's about it. If you are interested to download this uh, summary table, please feel free to uh, put in your comments under the video and you can just put down your email. I will email to you. Yeah, I will not just put up because I will want you to I want the viewers to really look through this video and learn as much as they can before I send you the, the summary sheet. That's about it. Thank you.